What's up, tweakers? Ryan here. I want to say a few things about tethering. Now, you might be asking yourself, what is tethering? Tethering is when you take your phone's internet connection, for example here, the 4G, and you route it out through the phone's Wi-Fi radio. There's lots of ways you can do it. You can pay for the service with your carrier, or there's various things hacks and tweaks you can do, software bits you can install to give you free tethering. Once that happens and your phone is a wireless router, any device that has Wi-Fi can jump on it and get internet connectivity from it. This is great for tablets, for netbooks, laptops, PS3, Xbox, gaming systems, whatever. Tons of things can connect to the internet with Wi-Fi. But alas, you have to be careful, because Android and iPhone users alike run into roadblocks. The carriers do not want you tethering freely without paying for it. So they try to put in these software roadblocks that the hackers just end up getting around anyway. For example, with Android, once you've enabled a wireless tether hack, especially on Gingerbread, because Gingerbread, they employed some different tactics to stop this kind of activity. There's some things you can do to make your tethering safer. Go to Root Explorer, and down here in good old System App, make sure you hit the RW up there to make that RO. We're going to scroll down to Data Manager Service. Here it is. And let's deactivate that bad boy. Call that .bak. Okay, great. There it is. That's deactivated. Now one more place you need to go. Back out to your main directory. Go in here to data, into data again, and you're going to look for COM Motorola Android. COM Motorola Android. It's pretty far down. All right, this is what you want: COM Motorola Android Data Manager. Tap into that, tap into databases, and you need to get rid of this file right here. Yes, bada bing, bada boom. Now, once you've deleted those tracking files, your tethering will be safer, your wireless tethering, but still use it just a little and monitor your bill. It's up to you to be responsible with this. An alternative I want to tell you about USB tether. Now, strangely enough, the carriers don't mind if you USB tether. That's not a problem with them. That's cool. You can do it all day long, and they're not going to bust you for that. Most Android devices have USB tether built into them. Go into your settings menu, wireless and networks, tethering and mobile hotspot. Look at that, USB tether. Let's tether to this little Asus Windows 7 netbook. I'm going to tap down here on wireless networks. And I'm going to disconnect from my network. You'll see I have the error message here. I am not connected. Before you attempt to run USB tethering, you may need to change your USB connection to charge only, to PC mode, Try different modes until you find one that works. All I do is plug one end of the USB cable into the netbook, plug the other end of it into the Bionic. Let's select USB tethering. The first time you connect, you should also see some messages down here about it installing drivers. Just let it do its thing. So I've got a network connection. You can see down here, network 2, internet access. I'm just going to call that a home network because I know it's safe. It's my cell phone. Awesome.
So as you can see, we're USB tethering. Let's pull up Tweak My Device. Not bad. It's pretty quick and it's something you can do all day long. Just tether with a USB cable. Chances are you have the USB cable and charger with you anyway. So if you're that concerned about getting popped, just do it USB style. This has been Ryan. Thanks for viewing guys and subscribe to Tweak My Device on YouTube.